Our program is going to be hosted by Howard. Uh, we're supposed to read a biography of Howard, but is one of our students and is really, really, uh, should I say, endowed in the uh, business aspect of things, fashion merchandising and other stuff. So it's really good. Isn't it? So please with us, uh, with a round of applause. All of us here, all of us are here because of her, and we know her. She is the like the one forefronting star fashion when it comes to our side of the world, when it comes to Africa. We know her. Like one person who even trains more than the event she went to. Don't you don't you agree? Don't you agree? I didn't even know that at the award show and any awards was going on until I saw the dress. Let me not talk much. Please, with the standing ovation, let's all stand. And then let's go up and So, like, um, 
um, what's, what's actually preventing most, most African designers from like meeting your fashion preferences? Because I, I, I noticed like, okay, well, just the other day you did a, a Bavarian, and, you know, and, and I think there was another time you did, did another um, African designer. So like, like, like what actually preventing most of them from meeting your, your preferences? I think you and I will attest to the fact that we have amazing designers, very talented, but then again, they are, they are competing against fabric, they are competing against equipment, they are competing against all sorts of things. So I wouldn't even be like the designers. I think we fantastic designers okay. and they can execute what I want, that the fabric, the machine they okay. need to use. So basically I think we need to invest this. Okay. We need to turn our eyes to our fashion industry. How do we do it? Some of us need to make it lucrative that we have invested who are ready to invest in your project and my project and move you to the next direction for you to achieve your dream. So basically, there's no limitation, but our limitation is the fact that we don't have okay. the resource. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. So, um, if I may ask, uh, who might be your uh, first five fashion personalities? It's quite strange, but I love Angelina Jolie. Okay. I love Lady Gaga. Okay. I, I love Jennifer Lopez. I love a bit of Beyonce. Okay. I love a bit of Kim. I love a bit of Yasatwa. Okay. I love her hair, the fierceness in her. And I think I love Yvonne Nelson too. Oh. It would say a wife. It would, it would say, ah, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when I wrote this dress up, I noticed we're screaming because I'm actually afraid of the dress. So we need to hide it. So it, it, it will tell you about a woman who's telling a story. Okay. And it's quite beautiful. Yes. Um, you know, um, there is no, no good function without money, right? Yes. So, like, Monetizing fashion in, in Ghana. Um, what would be your, your advice? I think it's how you sell yourself. Okay. If you sell yourself cheap, that's how you're going to be born. If you sell yourself expensive, there's been days, there's really nothing, but I still have to look them up. When you go to California, there's a slang on the street. It says, fake it till you make it. You understand? But here in our world, when we're faking it, we are slang and it's not minded. Fake it to do it. When they don't do it, they will buy it. Nobody cares whether you're hungry, to be honest. They will listen to you, but when they know you, no. Nobody really cares. They'd rather listen to you and laugh behind you. So it doesn't matter when it's one seat. It's got, it got to a point, I remember, when I'm buying expensive clothes, my husband and his family didn't understand. You can imagine the pressures he was But I still didn't give up. I still didn't stop, and today I am here to affect you with my story. So I'm telling you that it's not because I have it, it's not because it's okay with me, it's not because I'm rich, it's because I want to make it better for all of us. Yeah. 
have this this colleague of mine, right? Okay. Um, she's she's actually doing a, a fashion design, and she's she, she's kind of trying to balance her um, social media activities mm -hmm. alongside her fashion design. Mm -hmm. So, as a fashion influencer, what would be your advice to her? Both it's very important both ways because now social media has become our point of sales. It is where you have the world in your pocket. So you need to use it the best way you can. It doesn't matter. You might think nobody is watching, but then people are watching when it comes to creativity. And when it comes to your craft, you don't need to sleep. Let's say a few years to come is gonna be crazy. The competition is gonna be tough. I'm not going to be here to tell you it's going to be easy, oh, you are talented. I'm telling you what is ahead. Okay. There are too much talent out there. So you need to build on your craft. You need to have a relationship with your God, because it's the only way you can get your inspiration to be different. Whatever you do, some people are Muslims, some people are Christians, I don't know what they're believing. You need to stay close to your maker. It's very important. And when your creativity is being compromised, take a break. It's very, very, very important. If you follow me, I post when I want to. I am not being pressured by who is posting, who is not posting. And when your creativity is being compromised, take a break. It's very, very, very important. If you follow me, I post when I want to. I am not being pressured by who is posting, who is not posting. The reason why I'm able to have that effect was I'm able to regroup myself, recreate, and come out and give you the wow factor. Can you imagine if every day I'm posted? Won't you be bored? Can you imagine if every day I'm stepping out in bed? Won't you get tired? So you need to look for the right timing. And you can only do that when you have the special grace. It takes grace. It takes favor. So whatever you do, whoever you're listening, what and what I sent you out to us, that's what you should do. So, um, like, you know the internet is, is another world all by itself, right? Yeah. So the issue of internet uh, uh, by truth, yeah. so how do you handle that? Like I said, my makeup. You see, when you know yourself and your family and the people that believe you, you don't need to prove a point to anybody. It's only yeah, a matter so. of time. Probably you've heard they say I borrow to buy clothes, but I'm still here. You've heard they say I don't pay for whatever, whatever, but I'm still here. It's not everything you need to answer, because guess what? If nobody likes you, whatever you say is the only makes sense to them. Are you getting what I'm saying? You don't need to prove a point to nobody. You don't need to explain yourself to nobody to your God. But it's still who created you. So let them say and let your actions be otherwise. So uh, what is the end goal of, of being an influencer? I'm waiting for that phone call that I'm going to meet Gala to represent us, to represent wow. our industry. <laughs> I know they are seeing it and hopefully it gets to come and it's going to be a win for all of us. So, um, uh, how do influencing make money? It does a lot. Okay. But all depends, like I said, how you sell yourself. Okay. There are brands that need our control around you and they will patronize you. Wow. And there are brands that they don't love controversies. So it all depends on personal choices. Okay. What you want to do and what works for you. So that's what I'm saying. Building yourself today is very important. It doesn't matter. We are cashing out when it comes to influencing. I don't remember the last time I made a movie script. And I think my few colleagues can speak for themselves when it comes to movies. But influencing is paying the bills. So take your social media platforms very seriously. Very. Thank you so much. Um, you know, like every every creative person, right, has 
the awkward moment. Please, can you tell us about yours? Mine just happened. I saw it. I saw it. You did. You did. You did. You did. You did. Mine just happened. Can you imagine? I'm going onto a stage, the same entrance, and I'm going, I don't fit. Oh my god, that was one of my most awkward moments. All these years. All these years. It just happened last Sunday. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so um, we will now, now take a break. Okay. And uh, allow you have an interaction of our audience. Sure. Then later we are going to come back to get uh, advices from you. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you too. So we'll be attending to three questions from her, from the audience. So if you have a question, please. Where from? I like your colors anyway. <laughs> uh, please, ma'am, I, I, you're a mother and you're a wife and you're a business owner. Please, how do you, as a young lady, how do you fix everywhere, everything the way you should be? That's one. Secondly, um, in, you, in the order of priority, what comes next? How do you business model for yourself? I will answer this one first, family first. Family over any other thing. Because whatever we are doing, it will get to a time that you need your family. You do understand that. Family over anything, anything. Family first, my word first, so family. And um, how do I want to go between every other thing? It's timing. The reason why I told you I don't do anything at any time. I think my time is because I know I'm a mother. I have a husband to attend to. I have children. That's the reason I was late today. I needed to drop. I dropped my kids at school. I picked them up. I'm a handsome mother. I don't leave things for people to do them for me. So I pick them up. I drop them to school. After rushing, do my makeup and get dressed up. Sometimes I dress in a car, which I was doing when I get here. So basically, when you find the right timing and you have the support of your family and God by your side, you always find the balance. You would. So no questions, please. Okay, thank you. Um, my question is, as a brand influencer, what are the right things and the documentation as that goes with it. Um, when I get to um, answer this question, I don't like to give any recommendation because that way I am compromising your creativity. Whatever I'm telling you, there's another person doing it, doing it better. Look at yourself. What are you good at? What do you want to sell? Remember, all of you are here studying designing. But guess what? There's different branches that you can go when it comes to fashion. You can be a consultant, you can be a stylist. So what do you think works for you? And you find yourself being a stylist, that's thank God, because now stylists are cashing out. When you find yourself being a web of stylists, they are cashing out. I do have clients that will fly me to Nigeria to come and sell their web of for them. Do you know how much they are paying? So you just need to find what works. For you, don't look at money. You can't don't look left, don't look right, because you'll be confused. There's so much confusion out there. So I'm just going to leave you with yourself. But most importantly, you need to find your connections, and your connections are your friends now. Don't look anywhere. If you don't know where they're going to be in four or five years now. Don't look down on anybody. I didn't look down on this meditation. I didn't care where it was, but I came. So don't look down on your connection, because guess what? One of you might even get to reach you before I do. And you remember I was there for you and you will pay away for me, get it? So don't look down upon your colleagues, don't look down upon any other person. Put your connect among yourself, try to promote yourself, try to build content, see what is within you that will help you to create out there. So that's the criteria I'll leave you with. From the audience. Thank you. Welcome here. Yeah. 
happens now, not, I'm not speaking for myself, I think I'm speaking for everyone. Okay. Most of us are picking inspiration from you, and you want to tell me I'm very proud. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Back to my question. I want to know what has been your biggest failure, if there was any, and how it overcame it. I think here yeah, it will always be resource. It will always be a resource. Because trust me, if the school or any of you is being allocated, let's say hundred thousand dollars, do you know what you can come up with? Do you get what I'm saying? I think it will always be a resource, but I try to find the balance. Finding the balance meaning I try to cut my goal according to my size. I try to build each day by day. I'm not running ahead of myself. So even when I have a challenge, you will not even see it. You will think it's just me being me. So it's just trying to leave within my means, not letting anybody pressure hit me. Go with what works for my behavior. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any more questions? Good afternoon. Afternoon. I'd like to ask, um, in every career, yeah. if you decide to take a career path, mm -hmm. there are certain basic blocks yeah. you need to have personally mm -hmm. to help you grow mm -hmm. that career path. And you set, if I say a pioneer mm -hmm. or fashion influencer, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we have influencers, yeah. we have celebrity, yeah. being brand influencers, yeah. but none can be pinpointed as a fashion influencer mm -hmm. like you. Mm -hmm. I'm up and coming. Mm -hmm. I'm admiring you. Thank you. What's are the basic things I need to have now mm -hmm. to be able to reach your capacity, if I may say, or to be able to build a brand in fashion influence, a career in fashion influence. Mm -hmm. What are the basic blocks I need to have now? You see, you've already said it yourself. Um, I do what I do because it's a talent. It's God-given. And you have the talent and you have the technicality. So you are even ahead of me. You are in school. I haven't been to a fashion school. So when you have the basic, this is the basic. You have the basic already. You have built yourself a foundation. A foundation with technicality. You know it. Can you imagine if I was in a fashion school? Oh my. Can you imagine what I've been creating? Can you imagine if I had the talent that you have? There's no other basic. Don't let anybody confuse you. There is nothing powerful than education. When you want something, you do acquire the education, the necessary skills you need to equip you. Can you imagine if I know what you know? If you think you are the man, me. I can imagine. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So basically, you have the basics and don't take advantage of it. Some of us, we are riding on course grades. You know what I'm saying? So can you imagine you have the education, the talent, and also the man who can stop you? Thank you. I'm proud to be a Ghanaian, but it made me proud of course recently at the Met Gala Kim Kardashian's outfit. My friend and I had an argument, so I had to refer her Thank you. on Thank your page you. to 2019. No, you know. So, you know. She was a friend, she was a friend, you already know. And who shaped you posted you, and you are proud. Thank you, darling. My question is any challenges you face because me for instance i don't really know much about fashion i'm now going to enter into a fashion school i usually have ideas i don't know how to draw so i write them in words and i don't know how to interpret to a fashion designer so they would understand that's why i want to attend a fashion school so i don't know how to do everything myself, like that's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. I have a fair idea of an outfit I would like to design, but I don't know how to draw it down. So with you being an influencer, any challenges, how you overcame it? 
Um, you see, um, our industry is segregated. You can't fall on yourself alone. That is why we have fashion illustrators. So you can still be in the fashion school and you can have these inspirations as to what you want to wear and you will still need an end, a fashion in a fashion illustrator. This person will aid you to create what you want to do. You don't necessarily have to do everything all by yourself. You don't have to. It's just one person. Can you imagine if one of the stylists, a fashion designer, an illustrator, will be just too much on you. So allow yourself. The reason why I just stick to making your dream a reality. What you create, I try to bring life to it. Can you imagine if I was drawing, if I was sewing, it would be too much for me. So whenever you have the chance, just look within you and try and find what exactly do you want to do when it comes to fashion. Because fashion is very diverse. What exactly works for you? If you want to create, then you sit behind the machine. If you want to be a fashion um, um, illustrator, then you get the skills. If you also want to be a fashion, um, sorry, there's something that's not happening on okay. But if you want to be a stylist, you also work on it. There's so many things to do when it comes to fashion learning. So yeah. Thank you very much. I think about there another question. Please, uh, this one here, I want to also ask one question. Yeah, please. Um, with me, you know, I, 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 I love you. Sure. <laughs> Somebody smile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you. Okay. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> No, I'm not saying I love your style because I said your style, the way you even do with your family, yeah. the way you open to people and stuff. Like, I love the whole person. Like, I love everything. Thank you. Um, we, are, we are fashion people. Mm -hmm. And one thing about the creative industry, we are, we are fashion people. Mm -hmm. And one thing about the creative industry is we don't pay much attention to paperwork, documentation, contracts, stuff. This one, I'm not going to push a question. I just want you to talk about those stuff so that we know from, from the aspect of someone who is in the industry, the do's and don'ts and then the way forward. Okay, thank you. Thank you too. You see, when it comes to being away, for me, I think it's very relative because we are in a system where nothing really works. Sometimes some clients will come to you and when you want to go the paper way, they will come back. I think you know that. They will think, hey, what are you doing today, Baba? We have people like that. So you need to look at the type of clients you have. The first time I had a call, I was going to start one of my clients in Liberia. Yet she is she in it. Because it has never happened to me. They came to pick me up. I had to go there. Everything was painful. So each stage in your life, there comes certain people, certain clientele, then you yourself know this is the paperwork. You need to look at the type of clients that is right before you. Because if you present paperwork to almost everybody, and maybe they are not up to it, or just the fact that, wait a while, why are you asking the paperwork? They call me, I don't want to name drop. So, so and so designer, they don't even ask me for paperwork. So this is just within our circle. Not to say that you don't need to know them all out. You need to have your formats ready whenever. It's like you just need to be ready. You need to have your format of agreement, your terms of um, policies that works for you. So in case you have people or clients that are, that are presented to you, you are up for the task. So for me, when I have clients, I charge them within our conversation. We have and um, clients trying to know them, trying to have a conversation with them. That way, you'll be able to know their budgets. That way, you'll be able to know what they want from you. Because when you just put the power from them, maybe they can pay you, but ego will send them out because they think you're just paying too much. But it's not because you're paying too much. Are we going to get there? Yes. We are going to get there where there's a time before they walk in and the powers are already done. But until then, you just need to go with the type of mind that you have, who you're dealing with, and know your technicality. Every day I will tell you that. 
always have a legal advisor when you get to that stage. Always, if you have a friend that's a lawyer, say advance all the time. Thank you so much. I've got a chance. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, Dave, I thank you for answering the first question. I really appreciate it. I've seen, I, and from the instant I saw, uh, you always need to get to people with syntax. No, you see, but, no, you do always. That's what I'm saying. You, say, you will call for Pia. Yeah. At least I'm being a politician. The fact that we shall turn out me and she's come to you. She knows she's doing you a favor. And you also need to start that client on your list. There are certain people you need them more than they need you. You make a want to say, isn't it sometimes you bend the rules? You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get there. But however, you need to have a practitioner who's advising you. So that when you meet them, I know too much, you give them the paperwork. And you know my conversation. Just the way they present this. So you go, oh, this one, let her write the agreement. Let her do her deposit. Let her know what the fabric she wants. Insert what fabric, what color. Only have my sign, it's done. But there are some clients you need them. You need them to build your credit credentials. You know what I'm saying? So basically, it, with our industry, don't forget that people have the way they look at us. I think you know that. Before, can you imagine if you're a visual asset and how they look at you? Let me tell you a story about myself. Um, I was in general arts because. Um, I heard it was like a more winning man here. But the general has not been to me, especially literature. Can you imagine that during breaks, I was always in the visual arts classrooms? All the time, I was fixing the eyes. Even I missed class, so I I, they had to start me from schools because I'm always missing my class and I'm in the visual arts classrooms. Do you see where we are coming from? We are coming from a place where we are even being suppressed because of what we want to be. The society is telling us that we are for economics, we are visual artists, so we demand it. These are the challenges we are dealing with. It has taken God's grace for us today to even have a school, for us today to even feel comfort, comfortable, confidence to sit among people and say, I'm a designer. Before, who, who really mind if you were a designer? You put it in Paris to go into a visual art classroom. So I feel we are evolving. We are growing. And the world is in your pocket now. When you take each and every day step by step, we're praying. We definitely will get there. So yeah. Thank you. Please make me know that we need to bear the risk of course. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think some of us were too serious. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, there's something we call heritage when it comes to the creative aspect of things. Heritage, uh, uh, from what I know, is um, from, I don't know from an influencer point of view, but it's who has worn your clothes, who, uh, who has worn your clothes before, where has your uh, dress ended up before, and all that kind of stuff. We put them down to write the story of ourselves. Um, some of the clothes that you wear, do you need to keep them for future reasons? How are you keeping your, uh, your history for 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, maybe 100 years when you are not there anymore? How can we talk about that APR? That's, that's a great one. And I think you answered this. When you look behind you, you can tell I am building my history, I'm building my heritage. Like, it's crazy because storage area in my house is super crazy. You get what I'm saying? This, this um, dress, I had it, I think, over five years now. And it was crazy. At that time, when I wore it, nobody was doing the mirror dress. Yes, that was about five, six years now. I'll check the year. And it was from Venezuela. The designer is amazing. It's actual and laser cut. Oh. Yeah, you can see it is actual and it's a cut. We are writing to me and It's not the normal plastics you see out there. This is a laser cut. I don't know who, who put it on the on the on the mannequin. It's, you see how heavy it is. We're, we're even talking about how the edges have been cut very into That's what I'm saying. So um I am building my legacy, it's just I have to bring I need room 
It is deep room in our house. There was some of the dress I, I told you I wanted to get. It was far, I could just call it before. It is 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 was quite wide. The ones I could get, um, in the uni, I thought, I thought, yes. My team and I are building it up eventually, like behind the scenes. What I go through when I'm doing my photo shoots, and how the ups and downs and all that. So all of these things are being done, and you know, I think at the right time, you guys will be the first that you can see it. No, we are young, we are young for oh, yeah. so much big dreams and visions. Sure. We positive vibes to understand. We face so many businesses of life with young for many And I want to talk about you, you were saying something you made you made mention about the life coach. Mm -hmm. Your life coach. So to the area of mentorship and life coach, how important it is to us. Very important. Very, very important. If I didn't have a life coach, I don't think you would ever invite it to me here. Because so many things I would have reacted on social media. If I didn't have a life coach, I would think with my emotions. If I didn't have a life coach, I think every woman that was out there, I would want to answer. And it doesn't mean a life coach is like, oh, we need to go and see somebody and pay for the person. It could be that friend that sees something about you. Don't have a movie. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just listen. Sometimes these are the people who are placed and we overlook them. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you how I met my life coach. There was a time there was so much like dramas about me and everything. And on the page, I was typing my phone to reply. And this gentleman just enters into my DM. Nana, I don't know you. You are an amazing woman. I thank you with God. Don't reply anything. This is my number. Call me. Good Kelly. This is how I met my life coach. You should be the person who wants to listen. And if you don't have God in your life, these things you overlook them. Oh, my mate for is being two and three and you answer. He came through my DM and I called him and we met. I cried on his shoulder. He sat me down. There wasn't that God factor in me at that time. That time I was a puskele game from my wife. From my wife, you know what I'm saying? And he gave me a broad view of what can become of me. And the moment you know your future, these things doesn't even matter. They don't even move you. And the moment you know you affect Kofi Amma, why do you care what somebody who doesn't know you is saying? They don't even know how you look. Do you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine if I didn't have a life coach? Do you see some of the things people write about? I'll be there answering it. Sometimes I see it and me and my husband laugh at it. So you should always have that factor and that listening ears. Listening ears to listen. Sometimes the voice is not too far away from you, it's within you. Do you know what I'm saying? So life coach is very important. It could be your mother, your girlfriend, your brother. It could be any other person who speaks that positivity in you, who wants to see you excel, who wants the better of you. Basically, it doesn't have to be anybody you really need to go and say, oh, I'm looking for a life coach. No. It's just that person, when you're backsliding, don't put you back in shape. Basically, yeah. Very good. Thank you, too. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Thank you. Thank you. You talked about collaboration. Yes. You talked about how the challenges in yeah. the collaboration, yeah. which is the, the resources and how, yeah. how we do this. Mm -hmm. so, I just want to know, as upcoming designers and you being an influencer, let's just say we have to, but it happens that mm -hmm. I respond to collaborate. What would be your advice to a solution and how I can improvise and be able to do it? You see, that's what I'm saying. How bad do you want this? These questions, like, how bad do you want this that I put for you? Nobody is coming to give you money to sell your dream because like who are you? There are people that have already made their name. Do you get that? But um, you need to be able to build yourself to that recognition. I started with that low connect. I started with that low following. I started 
started with that nobody knowing. Even when I started, it was a whole block. I didn't care. There were days I needed to make certain sacrifice. And it's the sacrifice you make for yourself today. Because at the early stage, do you really expect any other person to come and put 50,000 in you? Why should they? Once they see Yatel, they will think of Yatel because he's already established. So you see what you're competing with. This is not the time for you to be eating. This is not the time for you to be sleeping. It's the time for you to make that sacrifice. If you need to go hungry, go. So many of us are gone hungry just to satisfy our passion. So many of us. But they wouldn't tell you. That is why I tell you, fake it till you make it. Sometimes we're looking good, but for only deep. You know what I'm saying? I said, and then, and then I'm meeting Mohammed. I'm going to do for some short period of time, which is part of your hustle, which is part of your journey. Because this is like, you see, there's so many things our parents didn't tell us. We thought we were not what we all wanted to be. We thought life was that easy. Do you know the things I wanted to do? They didn't tell us there will be facts happening, there will be friends that will pull you down, there will be friends that can come between your marriage, there will be friends that can come. They didn't tell us all these things. They just let a look, oh, I'm going to get me out of here. And you're so confident, you're so hopeful. So when these things hit you, that is why we fall into depression. So anywhere I go, I'm not going to show up with everything to you. I'm going to tell you the reality. Ten years to come is going to be crazy. So you better start it now. You better start starting now. You better start saving now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do you know how I needed to sit sometimes just to buy a dress? I seen a lot of times. I didn't have the book money at that time, but I needed to save and make sure I get what I want to be able to put me to the pedestal where I will be recognized. And I did it. So if I can do it, why can't you do it? See, I started with acting. It didn't do so well for me. And guess what? I found myself in fashion. So basically, she told me that there are areas that I have failed. It wasn't like I wasn't good. If you watch what I'm be, I'm good when it comes to acting, but the rule wasn't coming. And I didn't want to sit down. That's why they said, make here you are the sun shines. I didn't want to sit down. And that market already, some strong things have already I mean, taking the sport when it comes to acting. I mean, the moment we say acting, I know you have famous people or babies you want to mention. So when you look at yourself, when you fit in, I wasn't ready to compete with that. Who wants to compete with my brown? She's loved like crazy. You can only tap into that person. I wasn't ready to compete with that. Sometimes you need to be triple to yourself. And the moment you are triple to yourself, you're able to know that I had it in goal. I had the idea of the shop. Do you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine if I was still pursuing acting? I'm coming in Chicago, my dear. Yeah, because other strong characters have already dominated that spot. And you need to fight to prove a point. So just find what works for you. Make the sacrifice. Don't wait until the back of Ghana will pull you in. Uh -uh -uh. It's not going to work like that. Build yourself to that point. And I will give or so many of us who call you. And that is how it's done. So this is the time for sacrifice. This is not time for sleeping. This is the time you put your best creativity together. Sometimes if you're lucky, you just do one of it. Let me tell you how I love this gentleman here. It is because of this act. Ooh. This is how I felt I sent him a message this night. And he didn't know me. You see how things work. So you see the world we are watching, especially the creative world, the hair stylist, the nail technician, makeup artist, because you want to know what is involved, what is happening around you. So yeah, you need an end So people are watching. The first time I saw this, I was like, can you imagine if this was a dress? I loved it. I even thought it was a dress and I wanted it. Do you get what I'm saying? This is how I met him, because of this painting. So basically, you can start, and yours can even be greater than this. And you know what you want again? Vogue, they say, on Instagram, and you're watching. And now, Africa is the new spot now. Look at what is happening in Nigeria. You think we're not doing? We have. 
So we just need to push ourselves. We just need to rely on ourselves. We just need to force. It's difficult, my dear. Listen, if all of these girls will be honest with you, you will even want to sit back and ask, this is what I really want to do. The journey is hard. But if you have goal and if you persevere, surely you'll get what you want out of life. Thank you. So, um, can, we, can we get your, your, your closing comment? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that one. Great. I'll learn something new here. What did you say again? Pattern comment. Oh, pattern comment. Oh, I didn't hear pattern comment. Okay. Yes. Um, like I said, it's, it's nothing out of reach. You've done the greatest thing we didn't do is by getting the basic skills, that is the education. That is why we're here. This is greater than any other thing. That's why I said, if I did have the education, I would have done magic, trust me. Because then I know what I want. I could even cut, I could even create. So you are at the right place. Don't go ahead of yourself. Don't look left, don't look right, because everybody is their timing. You could be there 10 years, nothing is happening to you, but when it does happen to you, it has happened. I have been around for quite a while. Trust me, dear, I have been around for quite a while. And I was just wondering, I guess, uh, when Fashion found me, they gave me the platform I needed to be able to excel in doing what I love most, to be able to express myself, how beautiful women we are, how intelligent, how confident we all are, in how I dress. So all I'm trying to tell you, when they be school, some people won't be happy then they live in. That should not set you apart. You should believe in your timing. Because I believe one day I'll go to the red carpet and it was not going to be about me. Don't be that one person who will give me a run for my money. We have that in our head. Do you think someone's going to be in Olympia? No. Oh, this is your corner and prepare for me to have. And when that day happens, God knows that I did what I could do when I come. It is once you have the baton, you should run with it. All I'm going to need, you have the God factor in you. Be so humble. Love family a lot. Build a lot of connect among yourself. Don't think if I say build connect, going to um, come into my DM because usually they won't even mind you. That's the honest truth. The connect is here. Then, because you don't know where you guys are going to be, don't look down upon any other person around you. Life is very funny. Try to relax yourself. Listen, you need here and here to be able to create. To be slow, but we had to go. I want to be here. But you had to need a big man and compromise you. Can you imagine if you're going through emotional struggle and you have a way? Super. <laughs> Can you imagine? So whenever you are down, accept it that you are down, take a break, regroup yourself, and bounce back. Because you're only human. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's a very busy woman, so we need to try our best to release her in the so that she can take care of the rest of the day to so she has to um, From a student's perspective, they want to say thank you, so I'll call on my subsequent president to just have a good amount of time from the student's perspective. Yeah. Thank you.
That was a nice one. Um, I have a lot, to be honest, because um, my style is very diverse, and I don't really look at one designer as an And basically, I think I'm growing up with African designers, to be honest. They're really amazing. I've worked with um, House of Pyro. I hope I had that new one. I've worked with Yantelo. Gosh, I've worked with some few, but the name is not open. And to be able to deal with me is quite a lot. Trust me, because I'll read something today, and by the time I get home, I'll go in, oh, it's going change you, oh, it's going change you. So you also need to be in that creative space to understand me. So basically, I'm a sad mind now. My mom would change up. He was not going to Before um, you start creating with me, you'll be, you'll be so amazed. But hold on, um, it's not funny yet. Okay, I'm going to show you something. What was the matter in a mission called ANBC? I will be general last year. Okay, I want to share something. Okay, so if you can see this, this is how the dress came. Let's start with this actual Sofima. The dress came with a slit. It was actually a short dress. And I told them I wanted it in a gown. And it came with a slit. It was all the way from India. And when it came, I didn't like it. I had to send it back. Sending it back, you have to pay a teacher almost about six to seven hundred dollars. So I had to send it back for them to close the because um, fabric, you know, it had wires in them, so it's not any kind of machine that can pull it together. So let me show you the final stage of the dress. So you see, I'm um, probably to... So, so you see what I do? This picture was a dress rehearsal. Matari number, I do a dress rehearsal. See how I want to look, see which clutch I want to use, it's not the I didn't like the pose, I didn't like the makeup, I didn't like the hair, so you have to correct it. It's my time, I do everything I'm going to do on the final day, and then I show it to them. It's a mistake, my team will be pointed out. That is why it being a bit of a you find it like it is too good to be perfect. Because a lot of work goes into it behind the scenes. <laughs> okay, so wait. So when they close the dress, this is how it looked. You see? Have you seen the difference? Yeah. When they close the seats, this is how it looked. So you get it. And I yes, when I change the hairstyle, I change the poses. You get what I'm saying? So hard work will definitely put you wherever you are. That I was telling. So there's a lot of designers that I work with. And when they hear my name, and guess what? Ever since we created this masterpiece, he named it after me. He's made a black out of it. A Nigerian bride also ordered it. About two brides ordered it. Just last week, another bride ordered the one it's one. So basically, he always called me and told me, I should look into his stuff and let's create. So when I come to you, what I do is that if you have a line, there's something I like it. But then I will change so many things to be me. Do you know what I'm saying? So it feels like when I'm wearing it, I can embody it. Because this is what I picture to be me. The only dress that I haven't changed nothing. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 